Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to the chaos of the bookshelves, aka my spring book haul. So recently I've acquired more books. Again, and I just did a two-part book haul recently, and uh, yeah, it's gotten worse since then. Uh, my shelves are in complete chaos, and the audio and the lighting are a little wonky in this video, so please, patience with me. I just moved into my little book room that I've created, and I'm still working out a few kinks here. For example, the shelves, but I wanted to do this book haul before really organizing the shelves because there are so many books here I want to make sure I have space for them on the shelves and how I organize them so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in but if you don't know what I'm talking about I will have a video of me moving all of my stuff into this book room in our apartment so subscribe and hit the bell to be notified I'll have it linked above and you should definitely check it out and a lot of them are spring themed, but not necessarily a requirement. But this first one definitely is because it is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. And this is by Heather Foggett. And this has been taking the bookish community by storm this spring. It's a new release and Emily Wilde travels to faraway land for fairies. And it just sounds enchanting and beautiful. And I mean, look at this cover. Come on now. Of course. So I had to buy it. It is mine now. I am happy. Next up we have, and I might speed through these books just so you know because there are a lot and I don't want this video to be too long because I don't like editing videos that are too long. Anyway, I have Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray and this is like a night zoo with fantasy elements. I don't know if they're mythology elements or not, but Fantasy Zoo, I mean, come on, how does that not sound appealing? So, I also purchased Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I wanted to get this last year, but I didn't get my hands on it. I think it's a Secret Garden retelling um, of this girl who doesn't have any family and she's growing up at a home or like in an orphanage and then all of a sudden her family reaches out and they're like, hey, actually you have an uncle and cousins, but there are some mysterious things going on and there's like strong uh, plant magic or plant themes in here. So, um, but it's a V.E. Schwab book and I haven't read a lot of her books, but I want to. So I thought I'd, I mean, I won't start here, but this one is definitely one I wanted to read soon. Then I have Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. I have liked other books by this author and this is like a very Vikings-esque fantasy story. I don't know if it's Viking mythology or just inspired by Vikings takes place during the Viking period, which I love. I haven't read a lot of like Viking and Norse mythology. I've read a little bit, but not a lot. And so I like this author, so I thought I'd give it a try. These next two books were actually sent to me by the author in exchange for an honest review. So I will be reading them for middle grade March, actually. And that would be these books, the Simone Lefray, the Simone Lefray books. I am really excited. So the first one is And the Chocolatier's Ball. The second one is And the Red Wolves of London. And we follow our main character who uh, works with her dad in a pastry shop, which I'm all here for as a pastry chef. I'm here for it, but she's a spy by night. So this is middle grade. I will be reading it for middle grade March. It won the Moonbeam Children's Book Award, and I believe it's actually going to be turned into a movie. So, and then oh, I'm so excited. This book is literally one of the books why I did not have patience to film this video. Um, it's The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. So this is the second book after the Six Crimson Cranes. It's the final book in the duology. It's the UK cover because I have the UK cover for the first one. In my opinion, these are the prettiest covers. I love the pastels. I love the artwork. It is enchanting. This is centered around Chinese mythology. Seriously, read Six Crimson Cranes if you haven't. Our main character 
has magic and when her stepmother realizes that she turns her brothers into six cranes and she can't talk otherwise one of her brothers dies and she gets like exile oh it's a whole thing i love the first book i finally am so happy to have this book and this copy of it to finish the duology mm. look how pretty i mean i think to me a true spring book haul is just pretty books it just is pretty books moving on so this is actually a replacement so it's the cruel prince by holly black it's hardcover the copy that i had was soft cover and literally every other holly black book that i have like the wicked king the queen of nothing how the king of elfheim learned hate stories and the stolen air are all hardcover and it bothered me so much that just one book wasn't so i bought this in hardcover so that they would match Yes, I'm starting to get into the nitty gritty details and aesthetics of my shelf like that. It's my decision. Come after me if you want, but I'm just so relieved. <laughs> then I have The Crown's Fate, and this is by Evelyn Skye. This is the second book in The Crown's Game. Yeah, The Crown's Game, I was right. Duology, I read both books and I bought the second book so that I can complete the set because I liked them. This is a fantasy kind of imperial russia you have two enchanters who are fighting to be the official enchanter to the tsar and it may end in romance i don't know read the books oh, i forgot about this one uh the school for good and evil crystal in time this is book five by sonan chainani in the school for good and evil series. Uh, there's a first trilogy and then there's a second trilogy, but you can count it as a six book trilogy if you want. So this is either book two in the Camelot years or book five in the universe. I just need the sixth book and then I have all the ones in the series, which is great because the movie came out. So yay. Then I bought The Girl in the Tower and The Winter of the Witch, and these are by Catherine Arden. So these are books two and three of the Bear in the Nightingale trilogy. I read the first book and instantly read these two books and know that I needed to finish owning the trilogy because I just sped through reading them so quickly. They are based in Russian folklore and they were amazing. So now I have the rest of the trilogy. Oh, I forgot about these next ones. I was thinking I needed to buy these, but it, I was thinking about them because I had just purchased them. Um, Finale by Stephanie Garber, third and final book in the Caraval trilogy by Stephanie Garber. And I would not allow myself to buy the Once Upon a Broken Heart and the Ballad of Never After until I completed purchasing this trilogy. And now I have finished purchasing this trilogy and I am so happy and I can move on. I have read all the books in this universe and they make me happy. They are wonderful. So yeah, definitely worth the read if you like whimsical circus competition, kind of dark magic, what can you trust, don't know what you can trust, and sisterly love. Go for the Caraval trilogy. I am completing or close to completing so many series. It makes me feel less stressed and less and relieved. Because like, here's another final book in the series that I've read and absolutely adored. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Menascalco. This is the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. And probably one of the best books in the series. Holy, mm, love this so much. Now I can finally add it onto my shelves. Stalking Jack the Ripper, in case you didn't know, uh, is in 1800s and you have a female main character who wants to uh, be like a mortician. Well, she wants to like do autopsies and study dead bodies and whatnot, uh, but it's the 1800s and she's a woman. But then the first one is uh, Stalking. Jack the Ripper, obviously she gets involved with the Ripper cases, and then you've got hunting Prince Dracula, and you've got escaping Houdini, and now capturing the devil, so this was just a really fun series. The romance, and okay, this is not a recommendations video, but the romance, so obviously you see why I had to buy the whole series now. I hope you see. And those are all the books. Okay, okay that was not too big of a haul that I thought. I think it also could just be that I sped through them really quickly, but that was... 15 books. I think that's a pretty good sizable haul. Anyway, 
Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how often you buy books, what your book buying strategies are, or if you've read any of these. Majority of these I have read because I'm trying to get the books that I have read and really enjoyed on my shelves. Um, but not all of them. So let me know what your thoughts on some of these books are. If you read them or if you want to read them or if you don't want to read them, tell me about it. Um, I also have social media linked down below so you can follow me there and be up to date on what I'm reading as I'm reading it and what my thoughts are, etc. and so forth. Thank you all again so much for watching and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.